This is a large undertaking, as you are aware, and particularly the work that you're going to be doing in each of the agencies and departments, uh, helping the president-elect, uh, the vice president-elect, and ultimately the cabinet members really understand uh, what are the opportunities of their agency, uh, what are some of the challenges, what will they want to do sort of first, second, and third. And within the context of the transition, there's a lot of work to, to think through in the next 60-some days. In the area of climate change, this isn't something that um, the United States is necessarily engaged in aggressively. But for the president-elect, he sees this as a true opportunity for us to create new jobs. But at the same time, we're increasing our security um, and stabilizing the economy by you know, really focusing on a clean energy future. And obviously, these two issues go hand in hand, energy policy and climate policy. I was the Energy, Environment, and Ag Policy Director for the Obama campaign. And during that time, I think the exciting thing from my perspective is that energy policy and climate policy were so front and center. So we had an opportunity to really help voters understand what change Barack Obama wanted to bring to the White House, um, you know, aggressively investing in renewable energy. Um, you know, making sure that energy efficiency, what we do with our appliances and what we do with our buildings really can make a big difference in terms of our carbon footprint and how we rethink our energy policy. One of the great things about this transition and one of the things that's sort of different from prior transitions is this recognition that you do have to work across lines and that you don't have to just sit in the traditional government stovepipes, that some of the best ideas will be ones that can, you know, move back and forth. And whether it's um, issues like energy or climate change, obviously there's going to need to be ultimately, uh, once we're in office, a huge amount of coordination between particularly these agencies. So I think this is a, a very good start. I am lucky enough to w be working with the former administrator of the EPA who's heading up our energy policy uh, transition team. Her record under the Clinton administration in terms of fighting for clean air and clean water is very much on target where I think, uh, you know, President-elect Obama is going to want to take the country. So we're very lucky to have such an aggressive leader in this area. And I think a big part of this as well is hearing from America about what their thoughts and, and ideals are, which is why um, we have a, a really exciting website at change.gov where you can go log on and share your thoughts and ideas about policies. And it's an exciting time for, for folks in, you know, that are thinking through the same policies I am. But I think just you know, a whole lot of folks are really excited about a new administration and a new chapter in American history.